this has been a very uncharacteristic start to the season for us, as we're not used to struggling. Of course, we are winning. We're 2-1. and one. We played the Chiefs and only lost by 10. It's a lot of points being scored, also a lot of points being given up. Now, the thing about this last game specifically is that CJ Stroud had debatably his worst game really ever, as he had technically zero touchdowns with three interceptions thrown. If not for the defense, if not for special teams, we obviously lose that game just on point swing alone, let alone the actual score. I recommend maybe watching it as it was kind of wild, but two interceptions for touchdowns and a kick return touchdown, and we still only won by 13 points. It was not a good game for Stroud. It was not a good game for the offense, really just in general. The ground game did enough to win with the help from those uh, defensive and special team touchdowns. Uh, of course, we have a mock draft early. I wonder what they're going to say. Maybe DT? I mean, we're really set on most positions. They got us at 7. Okay, that's kind of crazy. They got us with a pass rusher. I guess the depth would be okay. Um, but, yeah, that's the... Oh, that's actually the first one. So when's the second one? Do they show? No? Okay. Whatever. But we're going on to week four, which is, I mean, on paper, a tougher team than the Giants. Any breakouts? QB check-in. No, I don't think you want to check in right now. I think it's bad timing. Probably a, a defender getting player of the week, and it is Mr. Stingley. Two interceptions with a touchdown and seven tackles. Of course, looking at the rest. Uh, you know, tame numbers for... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say tame for Murray, but uh, Allen was great. Lattimore was pretty good. Murray is somewhat tame, I guess, kind of. I don't know. It's a good game either way. Decent player of the week. A lot of interceptions so far, it seems like, at least for the player of the week awards. Uh, we have that check-in. We'll, we'll check in in a sec. But going against the Ravens, obviously a team that's well-coached, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So definitely no guarantees uh, that our offense gets right on track. Of course, Boyer was great in that game. The receivers were okay. Pierce was okay. But the blocking was a little iffy. And then obviously Stroud, we had a couple of bad decisions. And, you know, it wasn't great. Of course, we do know that uh, Mr. Christian Harris is actually out for a few weeks. I think three, unless we have a bye week coming up. So uh, Mathis is going to get his chance. Now, maybe it helps him take Scott's place, but Mathis could literally become like the second comment of Ray Lewis, and he would never fully take Christian Harris's job. He would just take someone else's. Uh, and then the rest of the defense. We actually had a little bit of pressure in spots that I didn't expect us to. But it was just, as usual, kind of inconsistent. Obviously, like we said, Christian Harris out with an abdominal tear. And then Ravens with zero injuries. And then the Ravens, 99 overall. Lamar Jackson, he is not playing around. Uh, you know, some of the accuracies aren't the best. But basically 90 plus, almost mid-90s, like 95 plus for, for every rating. Insane play action, insane break sack, insane throw under pressure, insane throw on the run. There's really not much he can't do. Now, I will say a team that loves to run the ball, not just read option-wise, but just handing off to the running back, could use a better running back. You know, Elijah Mitchell's decent, but will he stay healthy for you? I don't know. Uh, and then we look at wide receivers. Zay Flowers is still the number one here. Bateman's not bad either. Uh, Zay Flowers, 94 speed. feel like we've played them recently enough, and Zay Flowers cooked us. Of course, Bateman's actually really underrated because look at that release. Look at the route running. It's not bad at all. Uh, Pierre Brown is the number three. Alexander would easily be my number three, though. I don't know how Brown is a day one starter, but Alexander isn't. He has all the speed in the world, better catching. I mean, really, there's not much he does worse other than medium route by a decent bit, you know, than Brown. I, I really don't understand why they're not starting him. Mark Andrews, almost basically a 99 overall with the morale he is. Ridiculous route running for a tight end. Release a little lower, but most tight ends, that's like... Probably the highest in the league at this point with regressions to Kittle and Kelsey's retirement. Uh, very good catching in general. Very good offense. If they got a really, you know, a new running back, they'd be really good. Left tackle's basically unbeatable. Sutton, this guy is not the best at run blocking, ironically enough, but very good pass blocker. Linderbaum's one of the better centers in the league. Voorhees needs to be replaced, and then Austin Jackson needs to be replaced. So Will Anderson needs to cook this game. Uh, left end, very good block shedding, not really going to be good at getting to the quarterback. Bentley, uh, very good power move, so he will be good at getting to the quarterback. The DT is kind of like a okay at both. Caesar is really raw, but has decent block shed. Oh, wait, obviously, uh, the edge rusher, 84 power move, decent block shed for an edge, I suppose. Roquan's still really good. Speed seems to maybe be lacking, though, no? It seems like lower than he starts with, I don't know, but... They're still very speedy linebackers. Ajabo, not developing super well. His ceiling's almost reached already. 81 finesse. I can't see him getting much higher than that. Corners are amazing. 
Lawrence, the X Factor. Uh, Humphrey, at least a superstar. No man coverage for Lawrence, but this could be a tough week for us. Some, uh, some athleticism there as well. Marcus Williams is a great safety. Hamilton's a great safety, and he's tall, and kicking's great. Punting we don't talk about, but this Ravens team is probably a top five roster on paper, which, I mean, that's not good for us at the play. Let's go to this QB check-in, and they're going to be like, hey, you, you kind of sucked last week. What's what's going on? You just, you, you crap. Uh, balance. Yeah, I mean, especially against a front that, like, they have. What do they want? Beat the Ravens a run for 120. I think we could do that. That's definitely more obtainable. But speaking of that strategy, I think stopping them, we want to stop the outside runs because I think that would count for read options as well. Kind of. Maybe it wouldn't, actually. I don't know. But uh, then on the other side, I think you want to go run inside because they don't really have the best front four. So attack their weakness. So, um... <laughs> I did a little thing. Griffin is now an X Factor, apparently. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely something. All right, so he doesn't get any other ability slots, but he ends up getting Blitz, uh, which is interesting. Effective D-line captains aren't just examples to follow. Their motivator is when they enter the zone, all opposing blockers will have their... Wow, okay, so that seems... So, like, when he gets in the zone, does that mean he just, like they're they're dead like the offensive line is gone uh very close to an upgrade point though it seems so he will get that third slot soon or or later i suppose let's go at the upgrade players do we have anyone uh some i mean linemen <laughs> not really anything exciting here we are in mnt bank stadium in baltimore maryland as we are going to be taking on these baltimore ravens who obviously we just ran through their checklist on their roster their their team is looking pretty good right now i gotta say of course we are without our main man on defense who i would consider the best player on our defense christian harris it's hard to really think of someone that is better on this side of the ball than him you know he's just so fast he just seems like he's always at the ball even when it's not his coverage he's there when it's a running back running the opposite side of him he's there he's just so important and Losing him for these next three games is going to be pretty uh, rough. Uh, obviously, we do run mainly two linebackers, so, you know, Mathis probably won't play too much, but when he does, boy, is it going to feel different. It's going to feel different because that change of direction, even the speed, just not on par with the rest of the guys on this team. And we're going to be feeling that right away as we're going to be kicking this ball off to start and... I feel sorry for the Giants fans. They're putting up 31 points back-to-back -back weeks, and neither time was it good enough. That is harsh. It's really harsh, especially against the Steelers of all teams. I mean, Kenny Pickett's ratings can't be that great right now. Like He's got to be still pretty low overall. Just starts off so old, it's hard to develop. But let's take a look at Lamar numbers. Uh, Lamar's numbers, uh, rushing numbers, probably a little bit better, but uh, passing not so bad themselves anyway. So uh, definitely going up against... A pretty good quarterback, obviously. Still expecting the run quite a bit, even though they definitely have the capabilities to pass. Got Scott going against Mitchell just in case he uh, peels out. And we just leave completely. Petrie just gave it up all the way, though. We're trying to go for a uh, strip. And we end up seeing a full-on stiff arm. A gain of 23 on the start of this game. As our run defense continues to play like they do. Which is terribly. Obviously, uh... We didn't do our best job there. We kind of ran into a bad spot. Pearson, the rookie, uh, two-yard loss. And, uh, you know, life on the defensive run front. Uh, as we could see, uh, Murray looking really big compared to Scott. Is that even, like, reality, or was it just because he's, like, kneeling down? I don't even know. Trying to get a play. Try to swat, and, and we missed so hard. Really good job by Scott somehow being over there in time to make the stop. Third and one. Harrison just out of range for that ball. I thought he was going to get a swat on it at least, but didn't. A lot of linemen here, even an eligible. Uh, almost looked like he was eligible to be a receiver. Lamar's going to keep it. Gets blasted by Hudson off the backside. And this will be a long field goal, which they're going to opt to go away from. Blitz time. This is really tough. I mean, Petrie needs to make a play here. And really good play. I mean, we had no choice, right? We, we had to go to the short out. And uh, Andrew's just perfectly in there. I thought we actually played that pretty well. Maybe play it a little more inside. Petrie can cover two routes if he 
plays it well, and good tackle by Scott. Maybe Scott just wasn't put in the right spot because, you know, replacing... I don't know if he's actually replacing Christian Harris here. It might actually be Murray that's taking his spot because, like, the sub-linebacker role gets weird, but he's actually looking okay to start this game. And I say that, and he's going to just blow it, which, I mean, I don't know if I would say that he specifically blew it, but he got blocked, and without that block, it's not a touchdown. But it is a touchdown, so it is what it is. Really good drive for the Ravens. Fourth and three conversion on top of it, and... They'll put up the first points in this one. I mean, that is about as clean as you're going to get. Uh, you know, Glover didn't really do great. And obviously, uh, you know, Scott didn't make it hard on that uh, that lineman or receiver, whoever the hell it was. Judge looking to return this ball. Had a touchdown last week. Maybe can do it again. Not really getting good blocks here. He's not even going to get to the 20. And do we really want to look at these C.J. Stroud numbers? Of course, one of the touchdowns, just the stat sheet people just didn't get it right. Definitely had to call the league office about that because uh, he had a touchdown. He, I know it was a reversal, but it's still a touchdown. Once you reverse that zero touchdown to one, you'd be at eight. But even then, it still just wasn't a good game. Even if you slap one touchdown on there, it doesn't take away the turnover, sadly. But uh, we're going to start off with the run as the run, once again, last week was basically the only thing we could do on offense. And Pierce has room. They were too shallow. No 82-yard touchdown, but a huge gain of 61 on the first carry. Wow, that's a lot of yards, especially against a Ravens defense that is very good. Of course, we know that front's not great, but we talked about it. Got great secondary players. Everyone is too shallow, and Pierce just basically had to run, and obviously he's, he's getting faster somehow as the days go on, and uh, sadly uh, he gets cut off there, but really good run to start it out. I mean, that's a huge gainer. We've had a little bit of success with play action lately, and obviously this is uh, coming off of a huge run, so why wouldn't you run back-to-back? -back? And that's a really good throw. Great catch by Rudolph. I mean, that is a tough one. Going against a truly elite corner as well. It's a lot of risk there. The receiver doesn't run through it, or the ball's like bad. I mean, you're looking at going the other way. As Pierce can't get the block, tries to cut it, and... Roquan does a really good job. Almost had the block. It would have been another really big untouched run. This one resulted in a touchdown, but instead it will not be that. We're going to run inside as I think they have inside leverage for slants. And Washington uh, will walk in pretty much. Obviously gets contacted near the end, but he was basically already in at that point. Great blocking on that drive, and we answer back even quicker than they scored. A little bit of a heavier front because you see they're in the pistol. Going to be a read option. It will be. Murray's out there. And really good tackle, but still, that's a gain of nine. It's just hard. Like, you run too fast at him, and you give up 50. Would you rather give up nine or 50? You know, I mean, math can sometimes be tricky, but I think this one's pretty straightforward. And look at how easy this run looks. I mean, the DT's got to make a play, and they don't. Scott does actually, well, he doesn't finish the play. Again, great tackle by Sermon. We're <laughs> kind of unorthodox, but uh, good tackle anyways. Yeah, Scott getting stiff-armed out of his shoes multiple times now, really. He's in good position. He's just he's losing the strength battle. And we blow that. That could be a touchdown. Good job, Hudson and company. Zay Flowers injured on a block. And uh, Clayton, for good measure there, to talk crap about him. Oh, what's wrong? Your back hurts, huh? Well, it shouldn't because Lamar's the one that carries. <laughs> That's something along the lines I would say if I was a douche and talked crap to injured players. We're on the running back. What is that? That could be picked, and it will be. Terrible decision. Even worse throw. As Clayton's going to take it back to the 34. That ball is errant. A little bit of pressure. Maybe finally uh, causing some issues there. Lamar just, I don't know what he did, but that was, that was pretty free. I mean, it could be the perfect throw, and I don't know if it gets there anyways. Clayton's in pretty good coverage. Makes a play off the backside and gets himself an interception. Looking at the quick out there, as usually the tight ends aren't super open on these plays. And they're going to cover it. It's a tough one. And the rookie gets slammed by the huge Kyle Hamilton. 6-4 almost feels uh, like cheating at safety. I'm going to be honest, but what are we supposed to do, whether they cheat or not? Boyer is naked. Oh, my God, Boyer. Are you serious? How is he not getting a first down and then some? Speaking of Boyer, though, probably going to go right back to him. We'll see how they play it. Yep, they aren't going to be on it. I mean, Boyer's fast. Always fast, but he just doesn't have that change of direction. He needs to get out there quick. I mean, I'm playing it safe. I'm playing it short. 
You kind of want to run this out for 40. He's not the best route runner, but there's no way he's even that close. Great throw. Attempt on the bait by Bentley was actually not bad, which should honestly be, like, illegal that he even came close to that. But play action is, looks like a blitz. Oh, Boyer. No way! I gave Stroud so much time. I didn't lead it. I just sat there. And he misses a layup touchdown to Boyer nonetheless. Oh, my. Good cutback. Pierce gets the first down and then some with the fight. Just wanted to guarantee first down. And even though they got a push, it just felt like it was going to be. I mean, how clean of a pocket do you need? Like, zero pressure. Even sat on it for a second just to make sure maybe had the deeper throw but i can i trust him and ford obviously will get there anyways gets to the 13 gains just as much as collins may have gained honestly it's a tough read for the defense i mean i kind of feel like run all the way works uh, i believed in the blocks we had them the lineups all the way across and ford the smaller slot receiver couldn't hold his own Another play-action play, which has kind of worked out for us so far. Can't really trust it. Throwing it back, that is risky. That is risky. Boyer's open, but that's risky. Thanks for letting me know the edge rushers are, in fact, blitzing. <laughs> and they are, in fact, coming for us. Pressure actually was, speaking of kind of coming for us there. Nico Collins picks up a few. Other than a miracle, he would have not gained even close to enough for a first down. So we'll kick our field goal, which apparently was botched. Once again, the chip shots, I like to let the AI do because it's just too easy on Madden. God, you got to take him down. Is that a horse collar face mask tackle? Oh, oh, it's not. It's holding. Okay, uh, this is debatable. I feel like they want to play really short. We only gained seven yards on the accept. I'm going to accept it anyways. I feel like they've played really short. Backing them up is going to be a problem for them, I think. But yeah, they we're never going to miss a field goal on our own, so... Oh, my lord. I mean, it's basically the same thing. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, but, yeah, we're never going to miss a field goal on our own, and that's just not realistic. We see kickers miss the most chip shots of all time, so got to let the AI do it every once in a while, and Fairbairn maybe past his prime, potentially. And they're just not going to hike it. Wow, what are we doing? But statistically, let's find out how we actually are doing. 150 total for us. You know, a little bit less than them. You know, a little bit less for them. 7-7 seven to, seven to start this one out. And, uh, you know, both teams kind of taking off the field without points. Ours, more self-inflicted. And Hudson trying to get out there, and nobody's going to help him. And Mitchell is carrying people for nine. I mean, Elijah Mitchell was never a bad player. He's just injury prone. But was he ever that good of a player? Holy, that's insane. Let's see if Mathis can blow this up if it's a run. Oh, I try to time it. Um, Stingley, do you mind? Great play by Sermon. I did not think he was going to have the speed to get out there. I'm telling you, if they had that slot wide receiver in there, that's a touchdown. Stingley was actually in pretty good position, I thought. I actually thought maybe he'd still get over there to get a piece of it. Instead, he's just gone. No, nope, we're on Clayton. No, no, no. And he goes to Mark Andrews, who's going to score anyway. Scott slowed down, but still gets there. Tackle breaks are really causing us problems right now. All right, let's see someone make a play for once on defense. It's a read option. We're not going to get out there, but a great tackle by Mathis. Not trick there. QB keepers haven't been super great. They had one that was good, but overall it's been, you know, not the best. Spread them out. Uh-oh. Can't help them. Good play. Was that Mathis I was? Whoever I was was so slow. Don't get me wrong, Scott has pretty bad change of direction too, but that felt so bad. There's no way they go to the freaking fullback, surely. Oh, get out there. Fumble! Damn, good job by their offensive line, but we actually had a chance at that, but we had the double tackle just to make sure. Either way, it's a good stop. All right, going to be in the five wide. I know we're kind of abandoning the run right now, but if Strahd actually hits throws, we've had looks in this game. We have absolutely had looks in this game. Which is really surprising because we're going against a really good group of DBs. But, I mean, I'm playing how the defense has given me. Nice. Good job off the edge. Hamilton's actually decently fast there. Good angle. But uh, we're just missing throws. And do they really cover Ford here? 
I guess they do, but Pierce is open. Good move. Like, nice little jump at the end to gain a few extra. Rudolph on the sweep. Is there a way I can, like, ID that guy out there as the mic, even if he's not the mic? I don't know. Either way, we're going to it. Tight end, please. He doesn't get there, but Rudolph still gains. If, if he gets that edge, instead of helping push the inside, which I guarantee, you know, guarantees the first down, so I can't really complain, but... We maybe score on that. Rudolph's got an angle. He's got speed. Perfect throw inside. Boyer was left untouched. Slips off the tackler. Is down to the 22. Like I said, there's been openings in this game comparatively to previous week or weeks. So we've been looking to it. And that's a great throw. But the right foot wasn't down. I saw on that cutback, you know, on the, the play action. Do you tr I mean, last time they tried to screw us, do we challenge again? I think the right foot was out. This time, though, I actually do believe it was out. But it was close enough to where I challenged. But Bentley in coverage against Boyer, that's never a good matchup. And he was backed up. And uh, he just didn't finish the play. As you can see, that right foot, I do believe, is out. Left. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, call in the field stands, unfortunately. That was a very, very good throw, though, by uh, CJ Stroud with the throw power. Loved that. And once again, pitch play is not really working. Considering how we should have had that run, the gain of four is, like, just awful. It should have been, like, a gain of 20. They were not ready for it. Screen pass on third and six. You know, we love to do that. Roquan's kind of on it. Had to get rid of it earlier than I wanted to, but has the speed and will show a little bit of power as well for the first down to the nine. Play action back across left. Could have uh, Ford. Nobody's going to cover. And he's just not going to run. Oh, my God, Ford. Are you serious? Had the leverage inside and decided not to run. What are you doing? You would be running towards Stroud, too. I could see if it was a breakdown and he thought he made the right call and it was the wrong call. But he it was a breakdown to the left. Like, he was... Oh, Mackey touchdown. Mackey touchdown, dives in. I really actually thought if I didn't dive there that we would have got tackled at around the one. I don't know if that was just unnecessarily dramatic, but hey, it looked pretty cool. Mackey, the rookie with a touchdown. Is that his first? I feel like he might have had one before this. I don't know, but it's nice to see the youngster get involved. Beating uh, Queen by an inch and diving into the end zone, barely getting it. A little back and forth, it's like, uh, you know, one scores a touchdown, the other doesn't. Then the other sc doesn't score a touchdown, then the other one does. No, 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 no. We played that conservatively because we have definitely given Lamar Jackson like a 50, 60 yarder, maybe even an 80 yarder on the ground, which, I mean, I really should be running, you know, conservative. May even switch to it. Ah, oh, Stingley. Oh, I thought he actually dropped it. That was that was interesting. Loses the first, but debatably with how good of a run team they are, this is probably a loss of uh, positive as that is going to give them a chance to go for it if they want to deep, which they do. Great hit by Petrie, though. Will force third and inches. Fair enough. Maybe. Second down, I don't think you can get away with it, but third down, I think you run. I don't know about uh, run commit, but I think you uh, you run the blitz. And where's, where's Andrews? We lost him. Murray's out there, though. Damn. Been a bit of a chess match in this one. I can't lie. I'm trying to outsmart them. We're not out there. Oh. And Sermon kind of helps him into the freaking end zone, but I think he's short slightly. Austin Jackson's injured, which definitely helps us out because the clock will stop. Henry Toe Toe out there, but doesn't need to be as Murray finds a way in there. Gonna call a timeout early just because you never know when they're gonna score. So if they score on the first play, getting that time is great. It just really doesn't hurt you to call a timeout early there, to be honest. And Henry's not gonna get there. He's not athletic enough, but we tried. We tried to cover the inside leverage, but also give not much room in the back, and it was just a really good throw. All right, this is an interesting one. I don't really want to run the streak with Washington because I feel like that's a bait. But let's see. That is a dot, though, by Stroud. Yeah, I mean, they tried to bait it. They, they definitely ran to it, like, immediately. But the throw was just so good they couldn't beat him to the spot, which 
I mean, it was definitely questionable. I'm not really sure what they were doing there. That's a tough throw. Needed to go back shoulder like that, and uh, Ford just, I don't know. Like, he sees the way the corner's playing him. I'm really shocked that he didn't try to try to slow down or look back. And Stroud's going to have room to run a lot of it. About 15 yards. Bit of a late hit. If I was Stroud, I would have sold the hell out of that. You don't want to get called for a penalty? Don't freaking push him late. You know? That's all I got to say. Definitely zone coverage. That's a dot! Holy hot one. Stroud kind of feeling it. Into triple. On the money. Barely seeing that one. And Boyer could be a quick throw. Uh, read depends on how Kyle plays this. Yeah. Gonna barely get that out. I don't really mind if he catches it or not. That was more of a just get rid of the ball so we don't take the sack, get the clock stopped kind of situation, you know? Maybe have Boyer. The safety came over, though, and I'd prefer to live another down, especially since it was first. No, I maybe could have taken that. Boyer inside, a little behind him. Let's up to the line and spike this thing. Try to keep that timeout just in case a mistake happens. It's been a hell of a game so far. Who do we trust? Ford Streak? Oh, did we do it? Damn, down to the one. I got to call that timeout. Oof. I don't know if we were late to Collins, but I, I mean, it felt like it was a decent play. Hit that. That's that's okay. That's okay. The trajectory of that throw is going to be a little out there. Do you still go for it anyways? This is a tough call. I go for it. Ah, it's going to be picked. Damn it. I couldn't tell if he was going to go for Ford or keep on Rudolph. And I thought I could maybe fit it in there. I probably should have high pointed. I just didn't trust the high point throw. Down three, it's okay. It's not like an interception that's like, what are you doing? Terrible throw and whatnot. But, you know, I maybe could have ran at the one there right at the end. But they had a really good front. I think they actually just played that really well. That's just, once again, chess match. And we could have tied the game up with that touchdown. You know, when it's all said and done, may have been the thing that wins the game. But we don't finish it off. Jaguars versus the Browns. Of course, Jaguars are cooking early to start the season. They gave us a tough one as well. Uh, over the Browns, 14-3. to Not a hard team to beat. We've seen the Browns put up some points against teams before. Niners and Cardinals, not really a big matchup for us, but big matchup for the NFC is the Niners are rolling right now over the Cardinals, 21-7. to Any action from the Colts or the Titans? That's what I want to know. And we will see the Titans versus the Chargers. Titans have been one of those teams that have kind of fought in this division. And here you can see 17-14 to against a 3-0 Chargers team. It's a close one, but the, the division's competing this season, it seems. Of course, looking at some of the numbers or some of the highlight plays, Elijah Mitchell wide open run lane to the left. Scott in position, could not get off the block. And then a third of the outside, diving a touchdown for Mackey. It has been a close battle throughout. Can we do enough on offense to win this game? Of course, it's hard to say what we want to defend. I'm going to defend the short pass, and I'm going to continue to run inside. Even though we haven't really run inside much, I just think that this will be the half that we maybe maybe look to it a little bit more. As if he didn't have to go down, I would have went for it. But yeah, that's that's a deeper turn for a low catch. Pierce, pretty good start to the season. Obviously, uh, this game's kind of being boosted up by a really good run, which is actually on this play. Obviously, they're a little more prepared for it this time, but I still trust our linemen to give us a chance. And maybe a bad decision by us. Should have went all the way to the outside. You know, 6 for 82, but you take away the 61-yard run, and, you know, it's 5 for 20, which is not bad, but definitely not, like, spectacular either. Going to be trusting Ford to try and get open on this one. They kind of pushed him out, but that is wide open. It's a great throw. Apparently not. I actually thought he should have been able to catch that cleanly, but that's fine because it's a big play no matter what. I actually thought he should have caught that cleanly. I thought it was a pretty good ball, but either way, first down's a first down. And good block. Nico Collins gains about five. Good fight. Big fella. You know, that's a smaller guy out there. Obviously, we're not doing that, but it's not. Throw out to Ford, who just straight up drops it. He should have caught that. Would have been gained a three. Setting up a very easy third and two. Got a blitz off that side. Can I not just, like, quick throw to Boyer here? 
Route running pretty good, but once again, I don't know why they're trusting Bentley in coverage so much here. It's not like he's not athletic. He's just not the most athletic guy I've ever seen. Kind of want to slant Rudolph because this looks like a blitz. It is. Rudolph inside with speed, burning the youngster corner. Obviously, it is a man blitz, and that man, that corner has 65 man coverage. They brought a safety over. I still don't know how I feel about this. Going with the pitch. Got four on it last time. Let's see if we can actually get some blocks this time. And off the backside, they get us. If not, though, there actually was some pretty good blocks there. But I will say I'm probably going to be retiring the, uh, the screen pass. Boyer play action. Obviously, he's our main guy. I'm going to take him because he got bumped. Boyer drops it. That's a great throw. Kyle Hamilton, Hamilton with a nice swat. Third and 14. It would look like this could be a field goal. Option for Ford. I hope he doesn't choose the wrong option. This is mid, though. Washington could be open. I'm going to force that in for absolutely no reason. Kyle Hamilton dives for a crazy one, and that was just just stupid play. Let's get our field goal and just move on. All right, come with the blitz to start it. Obviously, we hit the field goal. I made sure that we hit it because I was the guy. Ah, oh, bumps. Good move by Mark, but didn't actually get anything out of it. Only two completions. Obviously, a lot of short throws, but one of them was for a pick. Taking the ball away is usually how our defense wins, right? We don't usually do super well, actually. And there's a false start. That could be big. We don't actually do super well with, you know, full-on stopping a team, but we can take the ball away. And boy, could we use one of those right now. Sermon. Oh, come on, guys. We have a chance to blow up the ball there, and he just he just lets him catch it and then slowly gets to him. And coverage, zone coverage, don't really matter what we do. We're just getting burned. And Parison, good tackle, open field, five-yarder. Clayton's kind of on his own here. We're coming with that blitz. Oh, how does he not pick that? Wasn't that Parison? I need you to jump. Wow, that is just, I mean, that is fingertips. That is crazy. Oh, what are you doing, Petrie? Why are you swatting a free pick six? Lamar Jackson has been nearly perfect today, and that was one of his blunders, and you don't take advantage. That hurts. Oh, we're not ready for this. But Mr. Griffin, the new X Factor, is. All right, we got some uh, DBs coming in. Although we're, like, chasing him towards his strong side, so the throw on the run could be there. Oh, no. And he blasts it. Good job, Petrie. That's what I was hoping for, and we get off the field with a nice hit. We get the stop. It's 17 all. We're in an okay position here. Punt is a little iffy, maybe down to the 13, 12. Got the play action. Could be a fullback play. And that throw is terrible. He has leverage on him, so if the ball's on the money, even though Collins is running away from it anyways, uh, you know, there's there's a play there. There's a play to be had, and I obviously came away from the run because they're kind of ready for it. Mackey, really good throw, and he gets a run under it. A lot of yards. Nice truck on top of it to the 38. Like, we're moving down the field pretty well, but we're just not finishing with touchdowns. Well, half the time, we're not even finishing with scores at all. That's a tough throw, and he hits it on the money. That is a really hard throw, and he hits it. Beautiful. That's the C.J. Stroud I know and love. A little motion, pre-snap. Boyer picking up the DT, but nobody picks up uh, Roquan. It's going to be a gain of nothing. We are really struggling on the ground. We had one big run, and that was literally it. Inside handoff for Washington. Oh, we got some blocks this time. Trying to run to the outside. Stiff arms Kyle Hamilton to the 32-yard line. We're going for the setup, but I don't know if I really like it. The corners are kind of played off. The reason why I ran it is because I really did feel like they were going to leave Pierce, which they did for about eight. Like You can tell they were not playing shallow like at all, so I, you know, I played what was going to give it to us. Dot. Collins all the way to the two. I was even a little late on it, and we still hit that right on the money. Here's heavy formation. Play action's not really really looking good to me. And pretty good blocks. We cut it back, and we get the touchdown. Maybe should have went all the way. I just Usually when we run all the way outside, somebody sheds, and we lose yards. Great cutback. Touchdown. We have the lead. Murray, the ultimate blitzing linebacker. 
Clayton. Oh, really? He holds on. Flowers clutch. Bateman, actually. Oh, get on that. He does drop it, at least. Uh-oh, not Corey Hudson. That is our man. No way, dude. All right, second and 10 from the 42. That speedy wide receiver's out there. Good tackle attempt. Blasted by Murray. Good teamwork there. Third and five to start the fourth quarter. Torn Labrum. How many big injuries is this defense going to have? Wait, hold on. Tell me they're actually going to let this go. Tell me. Okay, they don't know the uh, you know extent of Hudson's injury. We do. Uh, but if they did it, you know, if they don't, they probably should have just hiked that. Hudson is debatably our best pass rusher, and he's obviously now out for some time, but obviously they didn't know that. You know, it could have been just a play or two. But it will give the uh, youngster Creed a chance. And, I mean, we took the chance on the best player they've had all day, which is Mark Andrews, and we got it wrong. Harrison doesn't even need to be there. Great job by Murray. If we ever lose Murray now. We lose Murray and Christian Harris at the same time. Oh, my. Oh, my. We're done for. No push inside for Hudson either. You know, from Hudson. Oh, good job, Will. Finally, Will Anderson showing up like the supposedly great player he is. Peter is in the zone. Sit down. Stingley's in position. Nice swat. Tried to go for the pick. Didn't give it to us. And now Jordan Scott is injured. Holy. I mean, okay, I guess. Tucker, obviously really good. Could make this 20 and will, obviously. Thankfully, muscle cramps, so Mathis will come in. Probably. We don't actually know because we have to play an offensive drive. Touchdown here, especially with the way this game has gone. Both teams kind of scoring, for the most part, outside of like the first two drives, slowly on each other. It would probably be a win if we score the touchdown, obviously. But they have made stops, so I think they're absolutely in their right mind when they decide to go for that field goal. Get the stop, go for the win. Not going to get out there. Great move by Pierce. Only going to gain about two or three. Trap play. I don't really know if I like it. Looks like zone. Boyer, maybe. And it was not zone, but it was a bad throw. I mean, we're just missing too many big plays. Zig. Ford could be short. Gets it barely. Damn. What a play. I mean, even like 96 speed, 95 speed probably doesn't get the first down there. This is the type of play that has not worked for us. Go at the edge. I don't know what it is, but this one for some reason just doesn't block the edge. Oh, it actually did this time. Ford will gain about four or five. I'm just trying to involve literally anybody at this point. Anyone that looks like they're going to give us a chance to, to do something. And they're just really nice fight for Pierce for the first down. Really just hasn't been much room. We gained some on this last time. You know what? The press, no safety help, really. Maybe you try it. Has him by a step. Collins has him. Perfect throw. And he'll finish it with a score. We really haven't taken many shots in this game. And that was a dot. Nico Collins, the big body, winning at the line. Kind of taunting the Ravens there a little bit. And finishing the job, maybe the game. I mean, look at that beauty. Right on him. Perfect throw. I mean, that corner did pretty well, considering, once again, he has like 65 man coverage, and that was man. Henry going to be in on this? Oh, we got turned around so hard. Mathis all the way on his own in the middle of the field. Murray. Oh, what a shot. I am shocked. I know it's Mark Andrews, but I am actually shocked he finished that play. Let's get a blitz going for Petrie. Murray on Andrews. I think he'll be in a pretty good spot. Oh, that could be picked. And Clayton will call game. Two interceptions on the day. And the defense actually holding the team to under 30 points. Who would have thought? Of course, they all died in the process, but you know what? Their death was not in vain. And our blockers are terrible. Let's get that clock moving a little bit more than this, obviously. Um, you know, we just got to play our game. Play it slow. We don't get the first down. So be it. But just run the ball. I was going to throw it. Had a pretty decent play, but run the ball. Win the game that way. 
And there goes Washington. Try to get a little bit extra, but only when I knew it was pretty much guaranteed for the first down. Like, if I juke early, maybe we get the juke and it's a touchdown, but give me that first down. I want it. Two yards. Once again, if he got some juke move, he'd be so good. I'm going to go back left here. And kind of had to bounce it. The fullback did a pretty good job, but he pushed so far inside that it's just... It was kind of hard to, like, get around him. And yes, I know. He pushed inside. What do you want? Third and eight. We're kind of leaving this play clock a little too high, though. Let's get this down to one so then it goes to the two-minute if we complete the pass. Honestly, do you even care about the first down? It's a little too late now. We're going to take the penalty if not. He caught it. He caught it. And Washington's going to be short. Does a field goal really do much? First down debatably wins you the game. A field goal still puts him right back in the same spot. Pretty much. Obviously, I'm going to wait. Do I even need to wait? Yeah, I'll wait just because if we do get it, we want that clock running. Oh, my God. Never mind. I just bought lit. Well, let's uh, kick the field goal. <laughs> uh, put a little bit of height on it so it gets that clock all the way down. Did it not? What are they, like, got the stopwatch on the quickest freaking timer setting ever? That was easily a four-second kick. I put air on it. Well, we're going to squib it so they have to return it, get that uh, that two-minute warning down. I thought it was a smart decision. Try to bait them out to go offside. And, uh, you know, they get they do that. That's, that's essentially the game without even having to risk anything. Oh, well. A couple players in the zone on defense anyways. We're holding an under 30. I don't care. Screen pass. Late. Oh, brick wall. Mr. Griffin. Good knockout. Trying to run in there. Oh, damn. Wide open. Damn, he is fast. There was that one play where we chased him down with, like, some, you know, equally fast linebackers. And I was like, how the hell are we catching him? And then all of a sudden that play he just burns us. Nowhere to go there. Oh, my Lord. Mathis took out the whole squad. Elijah is dying out here. Wish he would have caught that, though, because that was a really bad play for them. No press. We're on the curl. That should be picked. Is Pearson actually effing kidding me? What has he been doing today? Like, is he feeling okay? Multiple interception chances. And he's got good hands, doesn't he? It's actually Clayton that has the bad hands, and speaking of... Good try. Don't know why they're trying to go for it all on that play. I mean, I wouldn't like to waste timeouts if I'm them, but if you got to waste timeouts to get the score, just get the score. Let the onside kick happen. Maybe you got a chance. But if you don't get the score at all, you're at least, like, you're really just making your fans sad. And wow. I mean, we were in perfect coverage. I don't know what you want. I do not know what you want from me. Your name, Mathis. You've got pass rush in your blood. Good hit. That clock is running out. Damn, I don't know if I call that timeout. You get the touchdown with 30 seconds left. Your defense still has a chance to make the stop if you don't get the onside. And that, okay. Now now you would pretty much have to. Murray, of course, he's going to get himself a sack. You just know. Sermon, tough coverage. And they're going to call P.I. on us. Damn. Illegal contact to the nine will be a full first down. Now Dexter Creed is injured. Our DT position was deep. It's not that deep. Come with the blitzes. The blitzes have worked, so, you know, you could call it risky, but if it's going to work, why would I go elsewhere? You know, look at the clock. It's gone. Foot fracture. Okay, I guess Griffin's now the DT. I don't know, like, what's going on here. Glover is our, like, only healthy DT, and he is, like, the most injury-prone guy in the entire league. That's going to be short. And he gets blasted. To the five short still. They just can't punch it in. And now I'm playing coverage because the clock's in our you know favor all the way. Murray. Murray. Get up there. Denied. They're going to call a timeout. There's no way the defense actually holds here. That is crazy. Maybe a little offside there. And it is a stop, a hold at the one. 
Wow. The defense. I could cry. They actually played real defense for once. Look at Pierce fighting hard. They're going to call a timeout, but that, you know, we had to run it out of there. Otherwise, it would have been, you know, a safety. We'll run it again. Why not? I mean, at this point, we've won the game. Washington almost slips through for the first down. What a defensive performance. Offense was pretty good, too. They were obviously better, but we didn't finish drives as strong as we could have. But the defense was spec. Tacular, especially going against a very good offense, a dynamic player in Lamar Jackson. And we gave him troubles and uh, did enough near the end. I mean, the second half, we were perfect almost on defense. And we actually got some stops. And because of that, we will win the game and continue our season uh, with a 3-1 and one start. CJ Stroud, two touchdowns, one interception. One interception was kind of a force because it was fourth down anyways. It was like you'd rather at least throw it there than take the sack. Uh, and uh, we did, and it was close. CJ Stroud just under 400 yards, too, with that touchdown number. Pierce, one touchdown, 96 yards. Uh, Washington had a couple of decent carries. They really didn't run it with Mitchell too much. Uh, Andrews was outstanding. Uh, Brown was pretty good. Nico was great. Ford was great. Boyer was great. Washington was pretty good. Mackey was great. Rudolph had a couple of plays. It was a pretty good team effort. It really was. Uh, Murray with the only sack on the game. Good with a sack for them. Two picks for Clayton. One for Roquan and kicking outside of the apparent extra. Was it a fake field goal they went for? Missed an extra point, apparently, but uh, nothing else. Everything else was fine. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, did we get the 2 125? I don't think we actually got the rushing yards. We were pretty close, but just, uh, just slightly off, I think. Like, really ever so slightly. Oh, no, we did get it. Nice, because I, I, I forgot about CJ Stroud's rollout. Uh, we also have a couple of upgrade points, which we'll get to in a sec. Ooh, King. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's take a look at what we get for this. Two new injuries on the defense on top of it. The team was dropping like flies. I like what we have going here, coach. Teams are going to be terrified about how to defend us. We show that we can run or pass at will. Uh, why would Will Anderson did nothing to anyone? <laughs> Plus five run block power and run block finesse over the next two games. Damian Pierce will have plus five break tackle and carry for the next two games. Okay. That's not bad. I'll take it. Do we have a bye week, which is actually really helpful. Uh, we have a three-weeker, a four-weeker, a four-weeker. That bye week's coming in pretty good timing. Uh, I suppose not for Christian Harris, but for Hudson and Creed, they get to avoid an extra game just by one because of that, uh, that bye week. So... That does work out for us. Got some upgrades. We'll do them real quick before we head out of here. CJ Stroud. I think we talked about like um, break sack, you know, throw on the run type of stuff. So is that scrambler we were talking about? I think it is. So throw on the run is probably his biggest need. So we're going to be trying to get that here with scrambler. Gets three to break sack, which is one of his big needs as well. Under pressure, mid, and a carry. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't think break sack will come into play much for us, but... I mean, it's something. Now, Griffin going to 85 overall. Gets himself another ability unlocked, I believe. Two to speed. Okay. This has been quite the day for Mr. Griffin. Uh, and he gets recuperation. Okay. I mean, could have got like double nothing ripper. I mean, just like anything really. But fair enough. A plus two to speed and a dev up to X factor. All without technically having to do a thing. Mathis, uh, you know, his run block or his block shed seems really good. So normally I go run stopper anyways, but now nah, he needs some coverage. His coverage is lacking and he gets an okay upgrade there. Uh, Judge gets himself an upgrade. I mean, at this point, he's the kick returner. So do whatever I can to improve that speed and those types of ratings release plus two. Maybe I should have went playmaker actually try to get him some juke move. Either way, Matthias King and then the other guy, Riley, will uh, I'll do the Riley upgrade on my own. But Matthias King... Deep accuracy is, is his problem, right? As much as I want him to be like a fun running quarterback, I might need him at some point. Throw power again under pressure as well. So 92, start at 90. My man's is developing. And then Riley, I guess I'll just do it real quick. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. Another really fun, close game. And finally, the defense kind of clutched up. They seem to be getting a little more confident each week, which they're going to need it because we are with less of our really good starters and going up against better and better offensive teams as the weeks go by. If you guys enjoyed this one, though, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I really do appreciate your continued support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, second channel, Care Plays, for non-manic content. And that be it.
Should be a rebuild tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video.